In this short tutorial, we'll try to learn how we can use um, NCBI's Geo2R statistical analytical system to analyze the expression data available in NCBI's Geo dataset. Um, for that, first you have to move to NCBI's official web page, search the NCBI on the browser. All right, once the web page is opened, you can check at the drop down menu uh, that is located at the top left corner uh, named All Databases. Click on it and go down, and here um, you will see the link to Geo Dataset. Click on it and press search. All right, all right. once you are in the uh, Geo Dataset, in the search bar, we can, you can search. Uh, by search term, or if you know the exact reference number, you can enter the uh, reference number and click search. For example, if I am interested to search data related to cancer, just type the cancer as the search term and press enter. And that will populate a large number of expression studies related to cancer. And if you uh, scroll down on data, data sets, um, some of the data associated with analyzed with Geo2R link. Just uh, click on the link. Click on the link and that will bring to uh, the analysis platform. And uh, you can select the platform here. And that will populate the data uh, related to that particular uh, the platform you have selected, right? This window is very important because that contains all the accession number details that represent the samples used in the study. And when the study is large, so this data contains a large number of samples. From this list, we have to choose what samples are we are going to compare during the analysis. In this window, by observing, we have to identify what groups are we going to take our analysis. For example, if I want to compare this uh, MASP 17, 1, 2, and 3 uh, samples with null 1, 2, 3, and 4 samples, what I have to do is uh, define two groups. First group name I will name as MASPS 17. And press enter and add the second group name MASPS now and press enter. Okay, now I have entered two groups that I want to incorporate into my analysis, and now what I have to do is assign groups into each uh, the category I have just prepared. Just uh, select and click on the square here and select the second category and click here. You can add even more number of samples, uh, but I will proceed with two groups that contain the three samples as a treatment and the, uh, the four samples as in the control. All right, now scroll down and press Analyze button. This process, this process will take some time uh, based on the size of the data set and the, the server speed. All right, here, uh, by default, uh, the analysis has generated several graphs um, that represent the data set we have assigned during the previous step. So, for example, in this box plot, it shows that the uh, each uh, the samples, the category of samples that we have chosen is actually comparable, so we can uh, use for a decent analysis. Right, if you click on the first window, it will pop up and you will see a link uh, containing a name that uh, explore and download data. So click on it. Once the 
the graph is open, you will see actually the graph is actually interactive. The expression values for referring to each spot is pop out when you stop on the uh, on each dot. To download the significant uh, genes, you can click on the link down here and that will populate in uh, text format. The TSV file, you get the, uh, the significantly expressed genes. Right. Now, down here, you will get a list of uh, significantly expressed genes. If you click on each link, each gene ID, uh, that will show the expression values of particular gene, in this case TRPM1, uh, referring, referring to each sample. So it is highly expressed in the MASPS17, that is the treatment group, and it is significantly less expressed in the uh, MASPS null group. Likewise, uh, you can um, investigate uh, the gene that you are interested in your analysis. Right. To change the options for calculations, you can go to option and select uh, your preferred choices for p value determination, uh, the log transformation data, and the NEMA precision weights, false normalization, and the platform annotation to display on the result, and also the, the cutoff p value. You can set here and press reanalyze that will uh, adapt based on your selected parameters. Right, in the profile graph, in the profile section, you if you know the, uh, the gene ID, you can directly enter here and uh, click set. For example, if I am interested on this uh, particular name, just copy it and go to our paste on it and click set. That will populate the same graph that you can retrieve here. That is not much difference. But I think the most important thing is you can get the R script that is associated with the analysis. You can save this or uh, you can keep this for later referencing purposes, right? Um, if you want to know the full instruction about the analysis, uh, you just go up there and uh, click on the full instructions link. That will uh, bring to a new web page that contains all the details about the GO2R analysis. Uh, make sure to go through uh, the documentation and you will see useful data about the graphs and how uh, to perform and what kind of R applications that have been used during the analysis. That is pretty much about the uh, GO2R statistical platform. I hope you can, now you can do your own analysis using GO2R.